Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is the Little Churn Dash block. It finishes at 12 inches. It's actually four six inch finished churn dashes. I didn't like the 12 inch sizes too big for me so I made them smaller. And here they are set block to block. I just put the diagram on one of these because they're all pieced the same. I'm going to show you how to piece one of them. For each churn dash unit, which is one of these, there are four churn dash units in this block. So for each of the units, choose a background and an accent fabric, and you'll have a total of eight fabrics for this block. Patch A is a two inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half once on the diagonal for two patches. From each of the eight fabrics, you're going to cut four patches or cut two squares at two and seven eighths. The two squares will use the two at a time half square triangle method. The four patches are if you just cut patches or if you have the AccuQuilt, you'll do the patches. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this shape. Patch B is a one inch by two inch finished rectangle. You'll cut two and a half inch by one and a half inch rectangles. For each of the eight fabrics, you'll need four patches. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this shape. Patch C is a two inch finished square. You cut one square at two and a half inches. For this one, you just need to choose whatever your background fabrics are for each of the four units you'll cut one patch from each of those four. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this patch. Sort your patches into pairs of background and accent fabric. So put these two together and these two and these two. You'll have four different stacks and piece one at a time is what I do. Here are the fabrics I've chosen for each of the churn dash units. This is the first, this is one and I have the extra square for the background, so this will go in the center. Here's the second one, and this one has a light background, and the third, and another light background, and the fourth, and it has a dark background. I just switched them like that for variety. When you're looking for fabric to use, I tried using two 10-inch squares, or layer cakes. I put them together and cut all the pieces I needed for two churn dash units and I had this little strip left and these fabrics here were cut from that and also the fabrics to make this one were cut so you, you'll get two of these units they'll be reversed because the center you only cut one of the center so this one will have the light center and this one has the dark center the first thing we'll do is take your squares your two and seven eighth inch squares and we're going to use the two at a time method to make half square triangles so we'll make a total of four half square triangles out of these if you're not familiar with two at a time method stay tuned for a short tutorial that shows you how on the back side of the light fabric we're going to draw a diagonal line put the fabrics together right sides together and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. Next we're going to piece these rectangles, the patch B rectangles, and we'll stitch them like this and you'll have four of them. Stitch them together and press the seams open. If you wanted, you could strip piece these. From each of the fabrics, you would cut one and a half inches times about 11 inches long. Stitch the two strips together, press the seams open, then cut them apart into two and a half inch segments. You'll, get, you'll have the same thing, but I'm just going to do patches. Our half square triangles and little rail fence units are done. Now we'll look at the diagram and put the block together. You'll probably want to start with the center that you've cut for each individual unit because this tells you how to place the other fabrics. So we'll start in the center and then these go next. 
and the colors alternate like this. And then the half square triangles go like this. So you'll sew the top three units together, the middle and the bottom, press your seams open, and then sew the rows together. This is one churn dash unit, and you'll do the same for the other three units for your block. Here are the two churn dash units I cut from the two layer cakes. So this is what you get when you use, when you cut two out of two layer cakes. So now all of our units are done. We'll just lay them out how we like them. And then just piece these two together and these two, press the seams and piece the rows together and your block is finished. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.